Hello everybody! Happy Pongal! Happy Makar Sankranti! Happy Lodi! It is a very auspicious time when Sun moves into Capricorn. Uh, it is a big festival in North South India everywhere and people are celebrating this uh, auspicious uh, time. And actually we are in for a good uh, Sun in uh, Capricorn transit. Uh, there is no big drama there, there is no major conjunction to the Sun uh, and it's sort of uh, waiting for the drama to happen more in March, April. Uh, let us explore. Hello everybody, I'm Komela Sutton and we are talking Sun in Capricorn. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. Also a reminder to you uh, that my uh, courses Early Bird is uh, on 21st of uh, uh, January. I do uh, live courses where I am live there starting from March on Vedic Astrology uh, from Foundation to Advance. So do look them up on my website komela.com. So what about Sun in Capricorn. It is there from 14th of uh, uh, January to uh, 13th of February. It is regarded as a very auspicious time. Uh, 13th of uh, January is Lodi uh, and Lodi is celebrated in North India. It's the burning of the old year. And, uh, you know, as the sun finishes in Sagittarius, you burn the old year and start a new one. So there's a lot of fire and people, uh, you know, uh, eat uh, sweets and they're also eating uh, things connected to Saturn, actually. They have uh, uh, sesame seed on the sweets and sesame seed laddu and they put this in the fire as well. Uh, but the uh, whole concept of Lodi is that you are burning your old negative issues and as we move into the new year which is starting from 14th of uh, uh, January then we are moving lighter, easier, uh, better to deal with things. And then the 14th of uh, January when Sun moves into Capricorn uh, there are three important things happening uh, and uh, uh, it's uh, celebrated as uh, uh, Pongal and as Makar Sankranti. And the third aspect is this, that this is the first time that the sun changes signs after the shortest day of the year, which was on 21st of uh, December. Changing signs of the sun uh, means that the Uttar Ayana, the uh, you know the northward aspect of the sun the traveling sun coming closer to earth uh, starts and that six months is regarded as super auspicious and many festivals are there around this time in um, uh, India and people go and celebrate including uh, there is a winter secret Navratri there are the full moon in Cancer and uh, you know Saturn, um, uh, Sun in Capricorn but there is no Saturn here this time. Saturn has got moved into Aquarius so Sun-Saturn conjunction is in the next section when Saturn uh, uh, and Sun conjunct when Sun is in Aquarius. More about that next month. Uh, so this is a pleasurable good transit. We are celebrating the new year now we are uh, we don't celebrate the new year on 1st of uh, January uh, because that is arbitrary but we celebrate the first time uh, the sun changes sign after the shortest day on uh, earth and that is the important factor so let us celebrate i'm also all dressed in red and gold and uh, uh, you know honoring this super auspicious energy uh, I am actually going to uh, India 
uh, next week uh, for my nakshatra temple trip so i uh, always usually try to uh, have this month which is a uh, uh, very auspicious month to do uh, uh, pilgrimage and we are doing the pilgrimage of the nakshatra temples i'll be posting things and i'm going to try to take some videos that i can uh, share with you uh, and then uh, you know uh, this transit of the sun uh, there is really no uh, uh, conjunction although mars comes into capricorn gets exalted in uh, february mercury comes into capricorn but there is no uh, negative conjunction uh, taking place and so a uh, sun is on its own uh, giving us light and giving us a direction what is important about the sun is because the sun changes signs every month it is giving us uh, highlighting a particular area of our chart uh, and you could say it's neither negative nor positive wherever the sun moves it means we need to pay more attention to that area we need to understand that aspect of our life we can uh, do some remedies for it we can purify and that would be a very good thing to consider so how does it affect you let us explore now uh, remember that all the um, analysis is from your ascendant and moon sign uh, aries uh, capricorn is the 10th house so this is about your future about your karma about thinking about uh, how to uh, make the best uh, choices and it can be great professionally as well especially in um, feb uh, mars also joins uh, taurus uh, the highlight just now capricorn is your ninth house uh, ninth house is house of education learning uh, guru higher mind uh, so uh, think about how you can improve yourself improve your uh, higher self and uh, you know uh, make yourself luckier during this transit uh, gemini capricorn is your eighth house eighth house is house of transformation change eighth house also connected to uh, some old karma that we need to rectify so it's always good idea that during the sun in uh, capricorn for gemini that they can do some remedies and to uh, help themselves to um, have a lighter future ahead cancer uh, capricorn is the seventh house so this is a time uh, to think about your partners your loved ones your spouses uh, you see this uh, sun in capricorn alone cannot give a new relationship if you are looking for a new relationship but definitely it is highlighting the relationship area and those seeking a new relationship can think what is it that i want from a relationship how can i uh, you know facilitate it of what should, what i need to do and those who are in a relationship just now uh, pay attention listen to what they have to say and also spend some quality time leo capricorn is your uh, sixth house so sixth house is not the easiest house it's the house of obstacles and generally obstacles come uh, for you almost every year at this time uh, because sun goes into capricorn at this time so uh, what you could think about is that uh, how to resolve these obstacles how to resolve the opposition uh, so you can do karma yoga selfless service give back to society give back to people around you and uh, be humble and uh, you know rather than aggressive at this time uh, and that would be the best virgo Capricorn is the fifth house. Oh, fifth house is house of creativity. It's a house of higher mind, children, uh, and those are the areas that Sun is focusing your attention on. And we can also think about uh, past life good deeds. So uh, Sun is telling you to do uh, some good deeds at this time, but it can also bring the advantage from something you have done before. and uh, you can enjoy that uh, libra sun is in the fourth house so this is about home happiness uh, thinking about 
maybe some improvement around your house even if you don't uh, spend a lot of money you can just uh, do some uh, special things and help your home shine brightly uh, Scorpio uh, Sun is transiting your uh, third house third house is house of self-effort and motivation and courage and what is motivating you what is it that you want to do that you can improve for yourself and uh, you know push ahead to get some projects done Sagittarius Sun is in your second house. Second house is known as Dhana Bhava. It is also the house of uh, wealth, uh, but also of savings. And of course, always New Year resolution is to save money, invest. And Sun is just reminding Sagittarius that this is an idea that you should be thinking about. And if you are uh, already into investment and saving then you can have a, a look at your investments and see how best you can uh, change them or improve them for the coming year. Capricorn of course Sun is coming to you so think about yourself, think about your health, think about uh, what are the lifestyle changes you can make so that you have a better more positive year ahead. Aquarius, uh, Sun is in your 12th house. So 12th house can take you abroad, uh, make you travel. Uh, it can uh, be a time that you are giving some donation and uh, giving uh, back to the world. But Aquarius are always aware that you are in um, having the intense Saturn transit. Uh, I made a video already about it, a number of videos and Aquarius Moon, you are in intense Sarisati, Aquarius Ascendant, Saturn is on your uh, Ascendant. So this is not the easiest time and therefore uh, you have to keep a control over expenses which the 12th house transit of the Sun can do but also just to be more spiritual and do some meditation and uh, rather than trying to do something more worldly at this time. Pisces, uh, Capricorn is your 11th house. It's the house of earning uh, and uh, you may think about uh, what you want in this coming year. Uh, Pisces is not so much interested in money and finances but as uh, sun is there, it's telling you to be practical, down to earth, think about your next year's uh, earnings, how you can improve them, what you can do and uh, that would be the best. So that is it for today. Thank you very much. Again, wishing you all happy Lori, happy Makar Sankranti, happy Pongal, happy New Year, all the best.